Hi, I'm Katie. Today, we're gonna to take a culinary trip around the world right here in Harrisonburg. Our first stop, we're gonna to head to the International Festival to meet up with some friends. Come with us. such a perfect fall day to be here for one of the biggest festivals of the year. It's great. It's really an amazing festival. Hi ladies, how are you doing? Hi Katie. Hey, good. This is my first year at the Harrison Morgan International Festival and I am truly amazed. I mean, these sights, the sounds, the smells, it's pretty amazing how, how much you're stimulated here. This is something we make a point of coming to every year. 6,000 people from the community yeah. make it out. Local vendors from different restaurants from all over Harrisonburg come to show off their amazing food. There's all kinds of stuff. I saw Thai and soul food and Puerto Rican. It's just, and Kurdish, all kinds of stuff here. It's amazing. Yeah. What better place to kick off our international tour than here then? All right, well, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Now we're off to Taste of India, one of Kirsten's favorite lunch spots. Like I was saying, this is one of my favorite places for lunch. Indian food is really broad cuisine. It covers a lot of ground, lots of different spices and flavors. And at lunch, you can try the buffet. You can try lots of different things. It's a great way to do it. But today, we're going to order off the menu. So Wow, all of that in one dish? Yes, ma'am. And you have different types of naan bread, is that yes, correct? Yes, this is a garlic naan. We made fresh in a clay oven, mm -hmm. tandoor. That's a shrimp puri, by the way. We had a, like a different dish than any other Indian restaurant. Use the other Indian restaurant, you won't find it. Well, thank you so much. Thank I think, you very much. I think we're ready to. Thank, thank you. Now, this is definitely one of those restaurants that you just hear people talk about all the time. Kind of one that's very popular through word of mouth. That's one of the fun things. You really get to try a new thing every single day at all these different restaurants. You really can. There's so many um, ethnicities represented. There are a lot of vegetarian options with Indian food, lots of vegetarian food, always lamb, chicken, and um, seafood as well. Mm -hmm. I really do like the lamb, though. That's mm -hmm. a really nice addition to the menu. Mm -hmm. So I think next we're going to head to a Mexican food truck. So nice. we'll be off to Tacos El Primo. Excellent. Right. Yeah. Can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> I love that we get to eat outside today. Yeah. Yes. Day. And I ordered us a variety of different um, items from the menu so that we could try a little bit of everything too. So Hi, I ladies. think you'll like what I chose. Hey. Hi, we brought you guys um, five spicy pineapple tacos. Oh, yum. Here you go. And we brought you a steak torta. And we have here a chicken quesadilla. Yum. And we also brought one of our best sellers, the spicy pork burrito. Thank you. Gracias, Delicious. Mikey. You're welcome. Um, we're a family operated business. We moved here from California, and a lot of the flavor is Mexican, California style. You can tell it's very true, authentic. Mexican. Yeah, everything's made fresh, and everything's made in there. So we're ready to dig in then? All right, yeah. go ahead, enjoy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it looks You're delicious. Welcome. The spicy pork tacos are called Tacos Al Pastor, mm -hmm. and they are one of my favorite tacos. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never actually had a torta. And you can tell that these sauces are made fresh. The food truck is called Tacos El Primo, but clearly they have a lot more than tacos, which right. I think is part of what's come from, you know, them starting back in 2005, but growing and growing ever since then and just getting a bigger following. They were the first taco truck in town, mm -hmm. and now we have almost 20 food trucks in Harrisonburg. 15 of them are taco trucks. So we can find one on almost every street now, which is really fun. Okay, so now that we've practiced eating with our hands, we'll continue with the same practice when we go to the Ethiopian restaurant downtown called Blue Nile. Perfect. Sounds fun. I love eating with my hands. I know, right? <laughs> now we're at Blue Nile, which is an Ethiopian restaurant here in Harrisonburg. Um, there are two different dining options. You can sit at a table or traditional Ethiopian style, which is on stools, lower to the ground, closer to the food. That's what we're gonna try. Perfect, thank you. I like that. I had the lunch buffet. 
too. Yeah, I've never been. Yeah. Have you? Oh, it's, yeah. it's a great way to try lots of stuff. Hi. Hi. Hello. So here's your appetizer. This is the Azifa Fit Fit. It's a traditional appetizer with um, lentils, some injera bits, three different types of vinegar, some Ethiopian mustard powder, and a little bit of jalapeno puree, so it has a tiny kick. This is the bread that you're going to eat it with, and just tear off a piece of it uh -huh. and use it to scoop up the food and eat it. So can you tell us about what we're eating out of here? Um, so this is called a mesob, and um, traditionally this is how we would eat all of our meals. Um, we sit around together as a family and we share everything. No utensils, just our hands. Just your hands. All you need <laughs> is the Jara, bread. And then right. <laughs> oh, I always want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Try it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. A lot of people that are vegan or vegetarian, I think, would really enjoy this restaurant because there are lots of flavorful options that right. do not have meat in them. Right. That's a good point, too. Okay. So here are your entrees. We've got um, in the center the misur wat, which is uh, spicy red lentils, the collard greens, gomen, and then ke sigawat, which is uh, beef stewed in that spicy tomato-based sauce. And along the edge, we've got a few sides for you. Very Sounds good. Thank good. you. Enjoy. Thank you. This is the only Ethiopian restaurant within a 90 mile radius. Right. Um, so it's a unique food experience, but when these types of things come out, the color uh -huh. and then the texture and the flavor once they try it, they're always so very pleasantly surprised. I hope you enjoyed everything. Enjoy the coffee and have a lovely day. We did. Thank, Thank you. you. So it was much. delicious. That's awesome. Thank you. We're at Corgan's Public House, which is an Irish restaurant in town, and they have a fantastic selection of traditional Irish foods and some fusion um, and a great bar, and they always have Guinness on tap. It's so good. Hi, Hi ladies. Hi. How are you today? Good. We have a couple drinks here for you to try out. So we'll start with our classic Guinness, a very popular one here. This one in the middle is our Arantini. It's raspberry vodka, cranberry juice, lime juice, and has some floating raspberries in there. And then finally, the black and blue has the blue moon on the bottom and then Guinness is on the top. For the food, we have the Reuben sandwich, definitely our most popular sandwich, and it's served with our homemade potato chips. This one in the middle is our lamb shank. It's served over mashed potatoes with cooked carrots and cooked potatoes. And then on the end down here, we have our cottage pie, another classic Irish dish. I am excited to try this. You yeah. can come here for any occasion and find something. You can come here for a nice dinner, you can come here for a quick work mm. lunch, you can come to the bar and just have a couple of drinks. Really fantastic. That was a great meal. I'm excited to come back some evening for live music and a drink at the bar. I'm definitely in. Well, uh, next we're going to go to Taste of Thai, which is a restaurant in town that is wonderful for ambiance, and anybody can find something to eat there. So, great. Right. Cool, let's go. Let's Irish go. to Thai, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do this often though, but they're really good dishes to share if you come with family yeah. or friends. Hi, welcome to Taste of Thai. So I see we have a variety of seafood, beef, pork, yes. chicken. Everything. Yep. And I think one of the things to note about the restaurant here is you, you have a little star next to the menu item if it's spicy. Yes. And people can order a spicy dish and actually ask for it not to be spicy. Yes. Right. And we could make it as spicy as they want to if they yeah. need it. I think we're ready to dig in. That was an amazing meal. I can't believe we even have room for dessert. I know. But, <laughs> but I'm going to try this. It's some uh, sticky rice cooked in coconut milk and it has egg custard or mango on top. We still have one more stop. <laughs> oh and goodness. we're going to have a little bit of family style meal one more time. And we'll be at La Italia next. So, Great. cheers. Awesome. Now, I know La Italia has been here for a long time, but do you guys know exactly how long it's been here? It's been here as long as I can remember. Yeah, I was talking to Gervasio. And he, he said he and his brother came here 28 years ago. We have a tilapia francese in a, in a white wine sauce over spinach. Also, we have a grilled shrimp in a, in a dice tomato sauce over angel hair. And also, we have a chicken rollatini. It's a breast of a chicken stuffed with ham and cheese and sauteed with a cremini mushroom and marsala wine. Now, are these family recipes of yours? They, they are family and they are also they are my recipe. They all come from all over Italy, from northern south. 
dig in, ladies. All right, I can't wait to have the Marcellus. What are you starting with? I love, that was always my favorite. You can tell the attention to detail on each of the dishes. I know a lot of people don't think of Italian for lunch, but this is such a good lunch spot, too. So, lady, what do you think about the dinner choice this evening? It was excellent. That was my new favorite, the tilapia. The tilapia franchise. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're Gervasio. welcome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, oh, Gervasio. Gervasio. Thank you. Well, salud, ladies. Salud. Delicious. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. There's so many great places here in yeah. Harrison. A special thanks to each of the restaurants who were gracious hosts for our tour. But this is just a small sample of what Harrisonburg has to offer. Plan your own culinary trip around the world at visitharrisonburgva.com.